वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु वाहे वाहे गुरु वाहे all the Sikh Gurus call themselves Nanak. If you look in Guru Granth Sahib Ji, every single Shabbat by a Guru refers to Nanak. They never say, I am Guru Arjun. They say, I am Nanak. So as far as we're concerned within Sikhi, the Guruship didn't finish with Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Their light carried on through all the Gurus. Guru Nanak Dev Ji actually passed on the Guruship whilst he was still alive. Bhai Lena, who became Guru Angad, was given the Guru Gaddi, the Guruship, by Guru Nanak Dev Ji themselves. And then he became the Guru and Guru Nanak Dev Ji retired. So we have to look at this transition. If you look at the story of Guru Angad Dev Ji, how he became Guru, you will see that they worshipped Guru Nanak. They followed every single word that Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, fully, with all their heart. If Guru Nanak Dev Ji was a Muslim, how could such a devout worshipper and follower of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, how would they have taken Sikhi further away from Islam? Doesn't make any sense. Why did Guru Nanak Dev Ji not tell Bai, uh, Bai Lena or Guru Nanak Dev Ji this mission? That one day when we reformed Islam, we're going to go back to Islam. They didn't. They actually took it further away from both those traditions, Islam and Hinduism. By making a new script, Guru Angad Dev Ji in invented the Gurmukhi alphabet and he made a new script for the Sikhs to solidify Sikhi even further and give it a bit more of an independence from Islam and Hinduism. We didn't take on the Hindu Sanskrit script and we didn't take on the Persian or the Arabic script. Guruji invented their own script, something new, something just for Sikhs alone. Well, here's an interesting point about Bhai Mardana. Bhai Mardana's sons actually carry on playing Kirtan uh, and playing the Rabab for Guru Angad Dev Ji, the second Guru. And what we see is, by the fifth Guru's times, there is a tradition of Rababis who are also Muslim, ostensibly from a Muslim family, born in and reading the Islamic uh, texts, but they are singing in Harmandar Sahib and singing Kirtan. That shows that that message was consistent. Why would his descendants carry on singing the praises of um, the Gurus and singing the Gurbani were it not exactly consistent with the message of Guru Nanak Dev Ji? They would have said no, that they've changed the message. It's with the fifth Guru when he actually ends up developing the religion even further and even further at this point, when he is tortured and sacrificed, we can see from the writings of Jahangir, who is the Mughal emperor at that time, it was under his orders that Guru Arjun Dev Ji was tortured to death. At that point, two things are very important. Firstly, Guru Arjun Dev Ji is called a Hindu by uh, Jahangir. Obviously, Jahangir wasn't fully versed in Sikhi, but as far as he was concerned, these guys were not Muslims, yeah? these Sikhs. And he says that he had been in his mind to either finish it off or bring them back into Islam. And that brings me on to the second point, is that Guru Arjan Dev Ji was actually offered to convert to Islam. And he would be spared, but he didn't. So you can see clearly that the, the, the mission of Guru Nanak Dev Ji is carried out by his uh, followers, the next Gurus, Guru Ar Angad, Guru Amar Das, Guru Ram Das Ji and Guru Arjan Sahib Ji. And they are clearly not seen as six by the ruling forces. So how could they be Muslim? The funny thing is, if Grand Dev Ji claimed he was a Muslim and he said that he's a reformer of Islam, people would have tried to kill him because what he taught was very far away from Islam. Grand Dev Ji never claimed to be a Muslim, which is why he was allowed to carry on. They don't actually want us to follow Grand Dev Ji in the way that he taught what they say is Islam, they want us to leave Guru Nanak Dev Ji and follow Islam. So you can't say one thing and then say something else. You're trying to claim the legitimacy of Guru Nanak Dev Ji by saying that Sikhs believe in Guru Nanak Dev Ji, therefore if he was Muslim, they'll become Muslim. But at the same time as you're saying that he's, he is a Muslim, you're criticizing everything that he taught and say don't follow what he taught. If you believe in him, he was a Muslim, follow Islam. You can't have it both ways. 
Either you follow him because he is so true and so perfect and therefore follow Sikhi or follow Islam. For example, you've got two religions. One is Blackberry and one is iPhone. Blackberries came first, yeah? So let's say Islam is like a Blackberry. Yeah? Very established, very well um, uh, loved by lots of people before Gnandeji came around. Gnandeji comes around like Apple and says, you know what? Here's an iPhone. Let's say a very different idea from the Blackberry because it's got apps on it. Yeah? And had Dasam Dwar to connect to the creator. And the Blackberry is a business phone. This is not, this is something different. So now the people that are arguing about Islam and, and Sikhi, what they're trying to say is, oh, you know what? An iPhone's a phone. We're a phone. Actually, you should become a phone like we have. That doesn't make any sense. People follow this because they like this. So leave them to follow this. Don't try to say, oh, we are what you are, but change what you are. <laughs> the argument is flawed from the very beginning. In summary, what we've looked at now is the life of Gunant Dev Ji and how they lived, that they didn't ever take on Islam, and they didn't actually do the Hajj. Also, we looked at the philosophy of Gunant Dev Ji and how what they preached was actually very different to what Islam preaches. And finally, we see that when he passed on the Guruship to second Guru, Guru Angra Dev Ji, he did not pass on any secret code to go and carry on with Islam. It was very much that carry on developing this religion. And actually, what you see is that every one of the Gurus after that ends up building upon Gunan Deji's message in a very consistent manner to develop a religion which A. doesn't believe in exclusivity which is a key part of Islam and also B. does not ever try to become dependent upon the other two faiths we build everything from scratch we have our own towns, our own script and our own holidays and finally we have our own temples and our own throne so obviously Sikhi is trying to become independent from these two previous traditions so anybody having watched these videos should be left under, under no doubt whatsoever that the initial argument stands that Gunan Deji was never a Muslim and never practicing as a, as a Muslim uh, and therefore that should pretty much end this argument here. Wahiguruji ka Khalsa, Wahiguruji ki Fateh.